I saw quite a few questions on the laser group that I'm on on Facebook uh, requesting information on how to join letters, especially when you're looking for a nice fancy font to cut out somebody's name on the laser. Uh, I've run into this myself and I've come up with a way using Illustrator that you can solve this problem fairly quickly. Uh, just follow along and I'll show you how I do it. So you want to set up a new document. Um, if you're cutting out a name, probably you're going to want it around 12 inches wide. You can always adjust it later. Probably 5 inches high, just for an example. So you hit create new document. My computer's really slow because i got 100 things open here. There's our new document. So let's find a nice fancy font. Um, let's see. This one, Butchery, I find this pretty good for cutting out because most of the letters are fairly thick and you don't get a lot of that little line, really thin stuff that the laser can burn up on you when it's cutting it out. So uh, let's use the name Ashley, for instance. A, uh, capital A, S, H, L, E, Y. Your selection tool here, and we'll drag that out to the size that we want it. You see some of these letters are not connected, and that's great because we're going to show you how to connect them all up. Okay, so we click off of that and we got uh, our name here. You can see that the A is not attached to the S, the S is not attached to the H. Uh, any, This will work with any font. Let's see, we'll get our layers palette over here now and I'll show you exactly what to do. So, our layer one, click on Ashley, hit select. Now, if you right click on this, one of the options in the right click menu is create outlines. So you Click on Create Outlines, and you can see that it goes from being a text object to one object per letter, and it's no longer text. It's actually a vector, and we can modify each letter accordingly. We can move them around. We can do whatever. I got my layers palette fairly wide here. I'll just shrink that in. <clears throat> so, for instance, if we don't have them all selected, we just have one selected. Let's select the A. Okay, so we can take that A now and we can move it around. We can do whatever. If you want it to, you could just haul it over so that it's connected. Same with the S. And you can see here that now it's all connected. But that makes these letters a little thinner in profile than these letters, so we don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to hit our Control Z key put them back where they were. So what you might want to do, <clears throat> if you select the curvature tool, it's on the pin tool here, uh, select the curvature tool, and you, you click on your A on the outline. You can see that it has all these little dots here. So if you wanted to can put another little piece on here that looks like it's an extension of this little cross piece on the A that joins into the S. You can do that. You can just pull this little piece down here and you can add in another piece here and if you double click on it, it makes it like a corner piece and you can do it here as well. Double click and you got your corner piece. And then you can put another dot in here and you can drag that over. And you can put another dot right here and you can drag that over. And you can see that it has a little bit of a flex to it. If you wanted it straight you just click on this dot, double click, and it makes it a, a sharp corner. So you can see now that it's connected. It's probably not 100% correct if this was its own little piece going over. So you can adjust that however you think it looks good. There. 
now it's connected. Now with the S, um, let's see, what could we do with the S to make it connected, make it look natural? We go back and get our curvature pin tool here. And if we click in here, there's so many little dots in here. So what I'd like to do is take this piece and drag it over so that it's connected with the H. I don't know if this is going to let me do that or not. Let's just try it out. So I'm going to remove some of these little curvature dots here, and that'll take the curvature off of this little piece here. So just click on it and hit delete. Click and hit delete. And keep doing that until you get there. So I think if we take this and drag it over here. Oh yeah, it does work. We take this one and drag it over here. Now if you double click on these two dots, it's going to give you a sharp corner and it's going to take the curve off. So I think that looks fairly natural here. So you can see it looks like it's handwritten and it looks like it's all connected. And you can do that with pretty much any font that you want. If you want to now make these all into one piece and one path, you just go to your group and you can hit control 8 and that'll make one compound path. But the best thing to do is go to your pathfinder tool and make it into one big path. So if you don't know how to find your pathfinder, you go up on the window, you come down and you click on pathfinder. You see the check mark is on there because I already have it open. <clears throat> Oops. I don't know where it went. Oh, here we go. So if we click on this Unite option here, it makes it all into one path. So let's find our Layers palette. I have so many things open here that sometimes it's hard to keep track of them. You can see that you have one compound path. It's all one, one unit. There's no separate letters. There's, it's not text. It's all one compound path. So if you want to make this a line, outlined drawing, uh, you can see our fill here is black and we don't have a line selected. Some lasers prefer it that way. Um, other layers need the vector uh, outlines. So if we just switch our background and our foreground, you can see now that you have one cut line here for the name. And you can also adjust the width of the line. For a hairline, I think it's 0.25. And that, I think, is what lasers prefer, depending on the laser. If you got this, and you run this on uh, as a bitmap, it's going to cut inside and outside, so you're going to be left with the layer. But for now, we'll just go with this. Oops. Sorry, you, you need to have it selected before you change it. There. And that is how you connect all your letters. Hope this was helpful. You can go ahead and save this or export it in Illustrator as a, uh, let's see, sometimes I do it as bitmap depending on what I'm cutting. The EMF, Enhanced Metafile, is what I like to save my uh, line cuts with. That works in, I think, most of the laser programs. Thanks. Have a great day.